Good morning. When error appears to triumph in the church, what then? Today our reading is at Jeremiah 12, verses 10 to 13. Many rulers have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it desolate, desolate, it mourns to me. The whole land is made desolate because no one takes it to heart. The plunderers have come on all the desolate heights in the wilderness, for the sword of the Lord shall devour. From one end of the land to the other end of the land, no flesh shall have peace. They have sown wheat but reaped thorns. They have put themselves to pain but do not profit. But be ashamed of your harvest because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Many of the leaders of God's people have been unfaithful. The institutions that God entrusted to the nation, they've utterly failed. The prophets, the priests, the civic leaders, they pretty much all have gone off the rails for the kingdom of Judah. Without faithfulness to God, they've, they've doomed themselves and they've doomed their nation. And then what about the faithful? Well, the faithful mourn. They, they feel like all of our spiritual influence has been so small that we haven't been able to help the nation come into the right pathway. And they feel very defeated. What about God? God, what about his direct spiritual influence? That hasn't been enough. When hearts set themselves stubbornly, what can God do? I mean, either he has to overrule them, which he won't do because he gave them free will, or he has to let them experience the fruit of their doings. And so now Israel's going to experience the fruit of her doings. All the high and mighty efforts of the progressives, you know, among God's people. They felt like they had to bring all these changes to upgrade the, the people and bring them into the, the better, newer idea, the newer thinking. And you know what? It's led the nation to disaster. And now pu punishment is going to come. Uh, harsh punishments coming from the north. They've put themselves to pain to get these things to happen. And what they've actually managed to do is to decidedly damage their nation and their people. Harvest time comes. The time comes when the inevitable consequences of our actions come back to us. And so now that's what's happening. And the faithful, the faithful in the nation are going to suffer along with the unfaithful. But you know what? God knows who the faithful are. God knows who are his. And although the faithful will suffer along with the unfaithful, God has a great blessing for them even in that suffering. They are going to need to hold on tight, hold on to their faith without becoming embittered or disillusioned without giving up, throwing up their hands and just saying, it's all come to nothing. No, let God be the judge. God is the judge. At times, God's church enters a period when it seems like the wrong pathways, the wrong ideas triumph. And then what do they do? Do they just give up and walk out? It's time to be close to Jesus. It's time then in, in those kinds of times to, to realize that God is still on his throne. His truth hasn't changed. We don't change because we're, we have fealty to Jesus, fealty to his truth. Sometimes we need to experience the discipline of riding out the storm, of, of experiencing that disciplining that isn't even really due to us. But we need to ride it out and we need to be identified with God's people anyway. So the Lord will help us in these kinds of times. He'll give us wisdom to know what to do. Should we surround the church like a square and begin attacking it, attacking all the the things that are wrongly being done there, that might not be God's purpose for us. What we need to do, though, is to be faithful ourselves. You think things are tough for you if you're one of the faithful. Well, remember, Proverbs 13.5 tells us the same thing as Jeremiah is telling us here. The way of the transgressor is hard. You know, if it th you think it's hard for you, think how hard, tr truly, bottom line, deep depth, how hard it, it is going to be for the wicked at this time. Let's pray about this. Dear Father in heaven, at different times we know that your people have to go through things that are unexpected, unanticipated. They seem like they're out of the what we expect. So Lord, help us to be right. Help us to be faithful. Help us to avoid the uh, devil's plan to cause us to become embittered when he seems to triumph, to become disillusioned, to give up and throw up our hands and, and uh, say that the church has failed. We ask for this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. When error appears to triumph in the church, let us remember that God's truth hasn't changed. God may take the reins into his own hands. He may triumph immediately, or it may take quite some time and happen at a later time. He's God. You and I are not. Let's you and I be right, and God will take care of the rest. God be with you today.